Hello Airsoft friends! First of all, I'm going to say watch the whole of this video because I'm going to be giving you lots of information about events that have happened during this thing. If you don't watch it all, then you're going to miss stuff and you're not going to have the proper context. So yeah, watch it all. Okay. Let's go. So yesterday I saw a post from a chap who on the first day of taking his SSG 96 out into the field, he broke the safety switch. And apart from being jealous that he was actually able to take his new rifle out and you know, like play with it, I was really sad that this happened. And later that day he posted a screenshot from the novice support people who said that they wouldn't replace the part. And I thought that was really odd because one of the big selling points of the SSG 96 and the SSG 10 for that matter, is that they come with a 25 year free spare parts warranty. So if you break something in those 25 years, they'll replace it for free or the cost of postage. So I decided to take a little look into this. Now on the page of the rifle, as you can see here, it does say 25 year warranty. And to show you that we believe in what we say, if something breaks, we'll replace it for 25 years. Now that seems pretty cut and dry, like something breaks, they'll replace it. But there is also terms and conditions there. So we probably need to take a little look at those. Now it does have an excluded parts list, which include the magazine and the hop up bucking, but the safety catch isn't either one of those things. So we're still good on that front. So let's have a little look at the description. It says, since we truly believe in the durability of the SSG 96, we're including a 25 year free spare part supply with every rifle. If you play with the SSG 96 for many years and a part breaks or is worn to a degree that the rifle does not function properly, you will get the spare part free. The only thing you have to cover is shipping. This can be done in combination with another order at Novish.com if the spare part is in stock. Now I feel that with what's said here, what happened to that chap's rifle with the safety catch, it should be covered. But I guess maybe there's some ambiguity between like, you know, with it says part breaks. It doesn't really explain in detail here how a part can break. Which is quite lucky because at the bottom of the page, there is a section which explains how, you know, different parts can break. And there's two here which are relevant to our situation which we're, we're checking out. The first one saying, broken part, it's covered. I used the gun as intended and a sear inside the trigger snapped while playing. He was using the gun and the safety catch broke somehow. No idea how, it was just broken all of a sudden. So I kind of feel like it's covered. But then you also have this next point, which is initial problem, which is covered. I unpacked the gun and the hop-up bucking ripped on the third shot. I'd say that if you're using the gun on the first skirmish ever and it breaks, that, that, that's quite an initial problem, you know? There isn't anything else here that really relates to our situation, but I'm a bit surprised that they don't have accidental damage down as a situation which which is not covered. There's malicious actions, which is, you know, you get angry and you throw it on the floor and it breaks, uh, and there's broken part, but there's no accidental damage, which maybe they feel like was maybe unnecessary to have on there because, you know, accidental damage, but there's so many different situations on here which are, are included. I feel like accidental damage would be in their best interests to add it. So looking at this, I can't help but feel like there's no way in which his part wouldn't be covered. But let's go and look back at what the tech support person said in their message. They said that they won't replace the part because they do not stock it as a spare part. But then on the spare parts page, you can see that they do have the SSG 96 trigger box on there, which has the safety lever attached. It's right there. So they do have it. Maybe the support person just didn't realize that the safety catch was a part of the trigger box. Like they looked at the spare parts and it just wasn't on there. So they were like, oh, we don't we don't stock it. Maybe they just didn't realize it was on there. This was the point that I reached out to the Novrich company because I wanted to see what their, their thoughts and their input, see if I could get any extra information on the situation. And uh, Joseph responded. So thank you very much, dude. And he said that the only way to break the safety is when you rack the bolt handle and on the way back, you push it down hard, incorrect use. I tried it myself when I saw the post because I had no idea this could be done. Apparently with enough force, you can force the hold or the, the bolt handle down and break it. Same as stripping thread. With enough force, you can damage everything. First off, I was happy that he replied at all. Um, also very happy that he replied quite quickly as well, but also that he knew exactly what I was talking about. Like he'd seen the post, he looked into it, and uh, and he was happy to comment on it. For transparency, I told him that I was planning on making a video about this whole like event, and he was very positive towards that as well, so all good points there. I did notice though that his response and the response of the support agent didn't really align, because the support agent said that they couldn't replace it because they didn't stock it, whereas he said they couldn't do it because it was down to incorrect use. From what he said though, it's got me thinking, and 
I'm gonna try and recreate what he thinks has happened. And hopefully we won't break my rifle in the process. Come here, my pretty. So this is the safety lever. As you can see, we've got the bolt here. I'm just gonna rack it. This is just like relaxed down at the bottom. If I slowly push that in, so I'm putting like no force on it. You can see it actually pushes the safety lever forward. See that? If I push that in again, nice and slow, it's pushing that safety lever forward. And if I was to put a very slight amount of pressure here and push that down like that, you can see, again, there's quite a lot of movement on that safety lever. And it's only until the safety lever starts touching this side of the stock where it then forces the bolt back in to go to here. There's also wear on this piece of metal here. So you can see that it is being touched and sliding in. And even there, even on the safety lever, safety catch here, there's wearing where the bolt has been rubbing against it. I mean, that seems more like a design flaw in the rifle itself. Imagine if you went to rack it and you'd let, you accidentally let go and it went flying forward and then smacked the sm safety catch. I mean, I, I feel like there's a really good chance that that would snap. Now, I'm not actually going to try those things with a ton of force on there and I'm not gonna like let go of the bolt while I'm racking it because I don't want to break my brand new rifle. <laughs> I kind of feel like that's a bit of a design flaw in the rifle itself. Like you've got a moving part which potentially has uh, a lot of energy behind it too either from you racking it yourself or from you accidentally letting go. And on my one when I rack it I do need to force it like that end bit there I need to really really force that in like this part that's, that's like fine. It's not smooth, but it doesn't need a lot of force to push it in. But that bit there, it needs a lot of force. When I'm playing, I'm more likely to to want to slam it so I don't have to like sit there because it does get stuck, you know? Like, I mean, this is just... So I don't really blame the guy for, you know, if it was he racked it quickly and hit that, I don't really blame him for that because on my one, I kind of, if I want it to be a smooth, I I need to do it quickly. If I try and do it slowly, that's what happens. And that's not like a, a, a positive experience for me. Now I can understand why the Novridge company wouldn't want to replace the part because the owner had to have done something in order to you know, damage the rifle and break it in that way. But at the same time, from looking into that myself, I kind of feel like the design of the rifle has contributed to that breakage. And I wouldn't be surprised if we start to get uh, more and more reports of people's safety catches breaking on the SSG-96. But the story doesn't end there, no. This morning, Novridge Tech Support did respond to the post, uh, and it was a happy one because they said that they were obligated to replace the part and they're gonna send them an entire new trigger unit to, to do that. So hooray, yay, that was great to see. And it was it was a relief too, you know, like I'm, I'm a now a new owner of the SSG-96 and uh, I would have been a bit worried if he hadn't have got his replacement part, and I'm sure a lot of people, including myself, would have then questioned the the legitimacy of the um, the 25 year spare parts warranty. What was originally like a really big selling point of that rifle and the SSG10 as well could have quickly become a deterrent once you know news has spread through the through the community about it. But I think that this whole thing shows something. Um, else, which is much more important for us to take note of. The Norridge company, it's a new company, you know, and to, to people like us who surround ourselves in airsoft stuff all the time, it will make it feel like they've been around much longer than they actually have done. And in their short time, they've achieved a lot, you know, they've released multiple guns across multiple platforms, they have expanded rapidly into, into different areas, like they most recently opened up their new textiles section, and, uh, and they're constantly growing the company, which is no easy feat to achieve. But they're still experiencing teething issues, which they're happy to address and correct, which is the important thing. In this instance, it was either miscommunication or lack of training, or a combination of the two that led to this issue in the first place, but they corrected it rather quickly, which is positive and, and awesome to see. I've said it before and I'll say it many times in the future again I'm sure but I love what Novrich has achieved and I have a huge amount of respect for him, 
for his team, for everybody that he works with, because they're they're making our passion more accessible to more people, which is only going to grow the sport and help help progress it to, you know, an awesome future. And my confidence now that if I were to break something in my SSG 96, that it would be replaced under the 25 year spare parts warranty has now been reinforced by this whole um, situation, which is great and I'm really happy about that. And you can all be happy and confident that you're gonna get your stuff replaced too. So that being said, they may need some patience from us to work with them. But we all have the same goal here and that is to enjoy Airsoft. So let's all work together Give them patience, give them time and work with them, help them out, so we can all just do that together. Thank you very much for watching. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and uh, and let me know what you thought about this, this type of video. As always, this was brought to you by Project Airsoft, so check out the website. Lots of cool accessories and upgrades to make your airsoft life easier. And there's a load of Amazon affiliate links in the description too. And anything you pick up from there, you'll be supporting the channel. So, thank you very much. As always, remember to call your hits, and I'll see you in the next one.